What's up, everybody? Back for another Fair Shake reaction. This time we're going to be checking out um, uh, negative 77.82x uh, by uh, negative, well, yeah, wait, wait, sorry. Negative 77.82 by negative 78.22 because um, it's longitude and latitude of uh, Antarctica, if I'm remember correctly um but yeah the new everglow let's 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 stick with that the new the new everglow album ep yeah um so i uh, already checked out la di da um i thought it was pretty cool their take on the whole retro feel that's like you know really popular right now um and the way it switches up quite a bit is pretty cool so we'll talk a little bit more of that as we get into it um so yeah, let's just go. La -di da Kind of that 80s synth pop kind of feel. That kind of like uh, the weekend. And uh, even Rich Brian has gone down in a couple of his songs. Just adding that dirtier bass here is nice. Hey. That's gonna be a sticky part. Everybody's gonna say that. And very glow for red that they good. Hey. Break it down for that halftime. Then make it more trap here. They, they even did it with like the way the vocal melody was there. And then playing with the feels there were cool. How it went from full time to half time for a second. And then they bring it back to the full time. And then they still let you float for the pre-chorus. It's an ear, earwormy melody. La di di da, la di da. Hey. With that affected guitar there. La di 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 da, la di da. Yeah, yeah. That's an earworm. Ooh, we're keeping it up on Untouchable here. Syncopation on that synth line makes it have kind of that side chaining feel, like you actually have side chaining the pads here. Mm. Good post chorus. It's real groovy, man. 
just really in that pocket. And then it just like have everything filtered. And then slowly bringing more of the high frequency instruments like with the hat. And then the clap comes from, from the back. And they even make sure they pair that, that clap with the snare too. A lot of vocal layering on this chorus. Interesting little bridge. That was really cool. Let's check out Good Boy. Uh oh. Yeah, this definitely is not still the synth pop <laughs> fill. Hey, that. It's cool. All the like the tiny little embellishments. <laughs> Depending on the clap. Much longer notes in the melody here. Less rap lag. If it got the affected vocals pitched down and then the chromatic bill down. That classic snap though. They even add that that synth bass to give it a more fuller sound uh, to make this bass drop nice. It sounds like kind of like gl bo glass bottles clinking. It ain't never gonna work. I like this, but I bet you one thing, if I were to look up the lyrics to this, this is probably the the weakest lyrically, most likely. This is my guess. But it sounds good. It sounds good to my ears right there. No good reason. Let's see how this one ends. Oh. Hit him with the bass now. The rolls on all, all those rolls on the hi hat. I think it would be nice if the, through the second half of the chorus, if they didn't have the breath in between the uh, 
and, you know, where, where they take away like the base and everything. And then they can even bring it back again for this post chorus. And I feel it be make it feel more effective. Cool harmonies on that part. Which was brought out a little bit more in the mix. This is solid. A solid, like, hip hop influence pop song here. I kind of wish the bridge was a little bit longer. Wish it would have expanded more on that. So the question is, since they still have more time, did they double the chorus? Nope, they just have that post chorus. So they doubled the post chorus. I would have, I would have liked it if it was to use those eight bars towards the chorus and just keep the the chorus. I mean, towards the bridge and make the, to, yeah, make the bridge eight bars longer and then just keep the regular. Uh, amount of time for the chorus and post chorus at least that's what i would have preferred that would i think that would have been cool but still a pretty good solid song and um yeah i think that makes like the first um like everglow project that i liked every single track um because usually i end up with like two or three um, out of like the entire project, but I think it's the first time that I I genuinely enjoyed and like will return to each of the songs. Um, I think the weakest out of the four is Untouchable, um, just off first listen. Um, favorite track is still probably Good Boy. Definitely want to ch check out um, the lyrics on some of these songs, though. Uh, just just uh, out of curiosity to see if my assumption is correct about probably Good Boy being the weakest lyrically. But you know, um, you know, it's it's good to know what the songs are about in general, anyway. Um, but yeah, overall they all sound really good. Um, and so, yeah, def definitely happy with this. Tell me what you guys' thoughts are. Um, I'd love to hear it. Um, and until next time, much love, peace, threes.